Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to reveal 10 hidden window settings that can fix stutters, lag, and improve overall gameplay stability in any game. These aren't your usual tips. They're buried features and overlooked tweaks that Windows doesn't openly tell you about, yet they have a direct impact on how smooth and fast your games run. If you've tried everything but still struggle with performance issues, this is the guide you've been waiting for. Let's unlock your system's true potential. Let's dive right in. What's related with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear up booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. First, press the Windows key, type Task Scheduler, and open it. Inside, expand the task scheduler library and start exploring tasks under categories like Windows Defender, Windows Update, and System Maintenance. These often include preset background scans and triggers that silently run during gameplay, causing unexpected CPU usage, disk activity, and momentary lag spikes. Right-click on any non-critical tasks and choose Disable if they don't directly affect system stability or security. By disabling these silent background jobs, you ensure Windows won't start hidden system routines while you're gaming. This tweak helps eliminate one of the most overlooked causes of random stutters, especially in performance-sensitive titles or on low- to mid-tier systems. After doing this, your PC becomes more responsive during gaming, giving you smoother frame pacing and fewer interruptions, especially in fast-paced multiplayer games where every millisecond counts. Now, open the control panel, navigate to security and maintenance, and click to expand the maintenance section. Now, select change maintenance settings. In this window, you'll notice an option that says, allow scheduled maintenance to wake up my computer at the scheduled time. Make sure to uncheck this box. Leaving it enabled allows Windows to wake your PC, even during gaming or idle periods, just to run background processes like disk checks or update scans, which can cause sudden performance dips. Right below that, you'll also see the option to set a specific time for scheduled maintenance. Change it to a time when you're least likely to be gaming. 3 o'clock AM is usually a safe and smart choice. With these two changes, you're not only stopping unnecessary wake-ups, but also making sure Windows won't trigger heavy background tasks while you're mid-match. The result? A more stable and lag-free gaming experience with no surprise slowdowns. Now guys, before we jump into more advanced optimizations, there's one essential step you should not skip. Download the Ultimate Lag and Stutters Fix Pack. To get it, simply visit my official website, uptopacks.com. The link is in the description below. Once you're there, head over to the FPS Boost section and look for the post that shares the same title and thumbnail as this video. It's easy to recognize. Scroll down slightly and you'll find a direct download link ready to grab with no extra steps. Now, inside this pack is one of the most powerful optimization tools for gaming, the Windows Registry Optimization Tweak. This isn't some random collection of registry edits. These are carefully selected tweaks designed to cut latency, reduce system overhead, and shift your Windows behavior towards speed and performance. These changes make a real difference in how your system allocates resources during gaming. Next up, let's activate one of the standout tools in this pack. It's called Quick Boost. Trusted by high performance users and competitive gamers, this tool trims down unnecessary background functions and tunes windows for maximum frame delivery and responsiveness. Once you open Quick Boost, you'll see several tabs, General, Advanced, Cleanup, Storage, and Windows. We'll start with the General tab, where the most important base optimizations live, especially after Windows updates that often re-enable performance draining features. Start by enabling exclusive full screen mode to let your games take full control of the display output. This helps eliminate latency caused by background rendering layers. Then, disable Xbox Game Bar. Even if you never use it, it still consumes CPU cycles. Turn off startup telemetry to stop Windows from logging boot activity in the background and make sure mouse acceleration is disabled for precise input in FPS or fast-paced games. Also, turn off power saving mode. 
your CPU needs to stay in full power mode for optimal gaming. Lastly, disable unnecessary system services that quietly run in the background, tying up threads you want focused on your gameplay. Now switch to the advanced tab to dive deeper into performance. Here you'll disable power throttling, a hidden Windows feature that limits your CPU speed to save energy, something we definitely don't want in high FPS situations. Activate the memory tweak section to improve how your RAM handles active tasks, which is especially helpful for open world games or heavy loading screens. Then enable the option to increase hardware data queue size, which speeds up how quickly your system responds to inputs, giving you an edge in fast reaction titles. Next, head into the storage tab, which is your cleanup zone. Use this section to wipe out temporary files, system logs, update leftovers, and all the junk that builds up over time. This not only clears space, but boosts disk responsiveness, meaning faster load times and less stuttering between levels or areas. Finally, open the Windows tab, where the last layer of polish happens. Turn on hidden folder visibility so you can manually delete leftover files from uninstalled games or crash logs. Then disable notifications to prevent interruptions during gameplay. Switch off clipboard history, which uses memory in the background, and make sure transparency effects are turned off. These small visual effects consume GPU and CPU power that could be better spent pushing frames in your game. To get started with Gear Up Booster, Download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, Return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now, launch a game where you usually notice lag, stutters, or inconsistent FPS, and open Task Manager, then head to the Details tab. This section shows every active process running on your system. Look for processes that often stay open in the background, like Discord, Chrome, or even the game's own executable. As an example, right-click on Discord.exe and select Set Affinity. A window will pop up displaying your CPU cores. By default, everything runs on all cores, but that doesn't always result in better performance. On low-end or mid-range systems, spreading tasks across all cores can lead to interruptions from background tasks, causing stutters or frame drops. Here's the trick. If you're multitasking with Discord or Chrome open, remove one or two cores from your game to leave headroom for those apps. But if you're playing with nothing else running, you can disable weaker logical cores, often hyper-threaded virtual ones, and assign the game to stronger physical cores only. This prioritizes stable performance and can dramatically reduce lag in open world areas or heavy combat zones. Now, take it a step further. Right-click your game's .exe file again, select Set Priority, and choose High. This tells Windows to focus more resources on the game over everything else. It boosts responsiveness, improves frame pacing, and helps eliminate input delay, especially on entry-level setups. Just keep in mind that both Affinity and Priority settings reset after a restart, so repeat this process before each session for smoother, more responsive gameplay with fewer interruptions. Next, 
click on the Windows search bar, type Advanced System Settings and open the result labeled View Advanced System Settings. This will open the System Properties window. Under the Performance section, click the Settings button. When the Performance Options window appears, switch over to the Advanced tab. Here, under Processor Scheduling, make sure the Option Programs is selected, not Background Services. This setting tells Windows to focus more of your CPU's power on active apps, like your games, rather than background tools and services that don't need real-time performance. It's a simple tweak, but it can noticeably improve responsiveness and stabilize FPS in demanding titles like CS2, Valorant, or Warzone. Once done, click OK, close all windows, and restart your PC to lock in the changes. After rebooting, you'll notice your system feels more focused and responsive during gameplay, with fewer micro stutters or input delays. Now guys, right click the start button, select run, type msconfig and hit enter. This opens the system configuration window. Switch to the services tab and at the bottom check the box that says hide all Microsoft services. This is important. It hides essential Windows processes so you don't accidentally disable something critical. Now, review the remaining services in the list. Uncheck anything that's not needed, especially from apps you no longer use or, or recognize, like old updaters, third-party software utilities, or launcher services. Just make sure you don't disable drivers or core services from Intel, AMD, or Nvidia, as those are important for hardware functionality. Once you're done, click Apply, then OK. If you're prompted to restart your PC, select Exit without restart for now. You can reboot later once all tweaks are in place. Now, open the search bar, type Disk Cleanup and launch the app. When prompted, select your C drive, which is usually the main system drive, and click OK to start the initial scan. Once that's done, click on the button labeled Clean Up System Files in the bottom left corner. Select the C, drive again, and let Windows perform a deeper scan that targets system level clutter. When the list of files appears, check the boxes for the following items. Temporary files, delivery optimization files, Windows update, cleanup, DirectX shader cache. After selecting these, click OK, then confirm by pressing delete files. Windows will now clean up these unnecessary files, freeing up storage and reducing background clutter. This is especially important if your drive is near full, as low disk space can directly impact load times and cause stutters during gameplay. Now, open the start menu, click on settings, go to the system section and then select storage from the sidebar. Under storage, click on temporary files and wait for Windows to complete the scan. Once the list loads, check all options, except downloads, unless you're sure you don't need those files. Then click remove files and confirm. This process may take a few minutes, but it clears out clutter like old update files, temp data and cache that can slow your system down. To keep things clean automatically, enable storage sense. This feature allows Windows to manage space for you. Click on it to open the settings and set it to run daily or weekly, depending on how often you use your PC. You can also adjust how often to empty the recycle bin or delete files from the downloads folder based on your personal needs. With this setup, your system stays optimized over time, reducing the chances of lag caused by background cleanup tasks or storage related slowdowns. Now, in the search bar, type allow downloads from other PCs and open the matching result. This setting is part of Windows delivery optimization, which lets your PC share update files with other computers over the internet or your local network. While it might sound helpful, it actually eats up bandwidth and disk usage, especially during gaming sessions. For personal setups, especially gaming PCs, this feature is unnecessary. Simply toggle it off to prevent your system from acting as a background update hub. This small change reduces hidden network traffic and background disk activity, giving you more consistent in-game performance. With this and the previous tweaks applied, your system now runs leaner and faster, minimizing lag and maximizing responsiveness where it matters most, in your games. That wraps up today's video. 
If you found this helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more optimization tips. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and happy gaming.